I'm going to practice decision making for Japanese mahjong, also known as Arichi. I like to do these what would you do scenarios. I call them random pulls. It allows me to have my drawn hand and then figure out which yaku to go for because you have to qualify to win. If you want to know more about the scoring for Japanese mahjong, there's a link below the video to that as well as a tutorial playlist. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do six random pulls, and we're going to alternate between east and south. This will be the first one, and for this one, seven bam Isadora. We're going to say we're the dealer for these, so I'm going to get 14 tiles each time. Seven Bam is Dora. We don't, oh, we do have Dora, look, right there. So let's try to work it in. We have Akadora too, that's the red five. That'll bring you a Han also if you work it in. So here we have a pair of North, that could be useful if we play Pin Fu, which is all cheese, you have to have a valueless pair. So here we have also a pair of nines. So we do have two pair. We could play a half flesh, which is one suit with winds and dragons, but we would have six discards, which is significant. We do have a slight opportunity for a Yaku that is called mixed triple chi, which is the same sequence in three suits. So we would need a seven dot and an eight dot. Here's a seven, eight, nine, and there's a seven, nine. I think what I would probably do here is I would probably try to play pinfu and maybe that pure double chi. Here's a chi right there, actually. Now this probably would require throwing away this Akadora tile though. Or we could keep the Akadora and try to build around it and offload the pair of Norths. If you would do something different here, write it in the comment section, but I think I would try for mixed triple chi. The other Yaku that's a possibility is a hand called Chanta. Chanta is, out, is, is called uh, outside hand, and this is where you have four cheese or pones. Let's see here, Chanta. Four cheese or pones with a terminal or honor, including at least one chi. If you do it concealed, you can get an additional Han. So th that would qualify. So would that. So we would, and, and this has a terminal in it, so this has potential. Even this has potential. Now we would have to throw away again this five dot because that's in the middle of a sequence. I think we're probably closer to Chanta than we are to Pinfu or even Pure Double Chi. So I think I would, oh, geez. Hmm. One, two, three, four. I think I probably would discard the three crack first and see what happens. If I can get an eight dot or a nine, uh, eight dot or seven dot, I might go ahead and sacrifice Akadora. Let me know if you would do the same or if you would do something different. We're on south round and this is the second random pull. Oh, upside down. The This is a dragon. The progression of dragons is red, white, green. So white dragon is Dora. And we do not have Dora, but we do have lots of honors. Honors are winds and dragons. 
See that? We even have a pair there south. And it is the south round. The other nice thing is we have lots of BAMs. Oh, look, we have another south. We have a pone of south. Okay, so from this set of tiles, I think I would play half flesh. Half flesh is called Hanitsu, Honitsu, Honitsu. I believe it's Honitsu, Honitsu. Yeah, so that's what I would do. I would discard these. There's cheap potential right here and here. Pwn here. We would need to pair these up. Single honors in this situation, you can't do anything with. You have to pair them up so that you can then pwn, which is a three of a kind like this right here. This one is probably uh, a slim chance because it's the Dora indicator. So always keep your eye on the Dora indicator tile if you happen to get it in your hand and another one is discarded, you might need to sacrifice that because there are only four of every tile. If you would do something different here, write random pull two and what you would do. And we'll go on to the next one. We're back to East Round. The progression of wins is Eat soup with nuts back to east. East, south, west, north, back to east. So east is Dora. Wow. Look at all those BAMs. Actually, we only have one honor. I think I would try Pinfu here, maybe. Let's just see how this looks because there's lots of cheap potential in here. And we have Akadora twice. Okay, I would definitely try for Pinfu here. We have cheap potential here, 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 here. We have a pair if we need it. Uh, well, we do need it, you have to have a pair. We actually have a potential here for a pure double chi with four, five, six, if we can get the other four bam. I would discard the east first. And we have no terminals. That's uh, called Tanyao. It's all simples, all two through eight. That's another Yaku and another Han. I would try to play Pinfu, Tanyao, Reach, and then we have two Akadora tiles. That would be a five Han hand, which would be called Man Mangan. That's a pretty good score, I think. I think that's what I would push for here. Oh, and then if we got this trip, uh, pure, trip, pure double chi, that would be another one. That would be six Han, and that's called Hanaman. I think I would push for the pure double chi Pure Double Chi, Pin Fu, Tan Yao, Reach. That's four, five, six for the Akadora, Hanuman. That would be very exciting. Back to South Round. Eight Bam is Dora. Oh, we got Dora right there. Okay, so it's south round. We also have a pair of south winds. Okay, so let's see. We do have Akadora also. Let's see now, this is where I struggle. We have a potential chi, potential chi isolated, potential chi with Akadora, potential chi Dora, isolated Dora. No, 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 that's not Dora, that's the wind of the round. Okay, so let's see here. 
this is Dora. If we get rid of the, if we get rid of these and these, we would, no, we have way too many terminals, I think. I don't think I would try for Tan Yao here because we have one, two, three, three terminals, three honors. We do have Dora and Akadora. This is where I'm not sure if we could keep it all. So maximizing the bonus tiles like Dora and we have the wind of the round here. I think I would try for Pinfu and then discard these. This is where I struggle with what to do. Do I play Pinfu or do I have, maybe this would be my, you know what? This could be the only Yaku because you only need one Yaku to qualify. So if this is the only Yaku, we could pwn it and then just do anything, no holds barred. We could try to leverage Dora, but it's isolated right now. Potential Chi, potential Chi with Akadora, potential Chi, potential Chi. I think that's what I would do. Single Yaku with the wind of the round. Try to leverage this, definitely leverage this. Build around those. Whether it's mixed suits, Peng Chow, doesn't matter because this is the qualifying Yaku. That would be one, two, three Han if we could work that in and that in. I think that's what I would do here. Let me know what you think about that. That would be random pull four. And we're back to East Round. Fifth one. Three ban is Dora. So we don't have Dora. We do have some honors though. They're all singles. Four single honors here. But look at all these cracks. Pwn of nine crack. Okay, I would try for a half flesh. Honitsu. We could pair or pwn for that. Here is a chi right there. Or use that for a pwn and this for potential chi. Actually, I think I would do it this way because we can split this one out for a potential chi here. One, two, three, and then pair these up, get rid of these. That's what I would do here. And I would throw this first because three bam is Dora. Let me know if you would do something different here. This is random pull five. One more. Back to south round. Oh, three bam again. I think that's the third time we had three Bam as Dora. This time we got it. Oh my goodness, we have a pone of red dragons. Look at that. Pretty. There's that three Bam. Two Bam. So that's kind of workable right there, maybe. Oh, look at that. One, two, three. There's a chi right there. Okay. So here's what I would do here. These are all isolated. I would throw these first and go for a half flush. Half flush dragon pwn. That would be two Han plus Dora. Three Han right there. That's what I would try to do. So there's a chi, potential chi, pwn. We would need to pair those up and probably draw more bams. That's how I would try this one. If you already know how to play and have a set at home, give this exercise a try and let me know if it helps your confidence. That's assuming that you're a beginner like me. It's really helped me a lot to learn all the scoring. If you want to download a quick reference, there's a link below the video to this. 
there's the scoring on the outside and then the Yaku table on the inside and a little legend down here of all the tiles. That's really helped me a lot. So I've made it available to you if you need one. There are some other links down there too for tutorials and Dana Chiba's primer. It's really good. So check that out as well if you want to learn how to play this game. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the bell when you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and for when I go live. That way you won't miss an opportunity to maybe learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next set of random pulls for Japanese Mahjong, also known as Richie, may all your picks be keepers.